Today, we're diving deep into one of the strongest meta contenders in teamfight tactics set 11, featuring the faded comp. This comp can give you a huge advantage in the game, as long as you know how to play it properly. In this video, I will explain everything you need to know on how to play this comp. Before getting into the video, let's get to know when to play this comp. It is advisable to go for this comp if we get a faded emblem. If we are the only ones going for this comp in this lobby, even if we are being competed by our opponents, we have other flexible options which I will explain in this video. Now let's move into the gameplay strategy. Here we have a few openings to play with. Basically, this faded comp has both AP line and AD line, making it more flexible. Not only that, we have a slow roll comp with Ari and Yasuo carry, mid roll comp with Aphelios and Thresh carry, and a high roll with Syndra and Set as carry. We will discuss them one by one. Let's start with the early board. Initially, we can play around Ari, Yasuo, Kindred, and Darius, activating faded synergy along with Duelist. If we have early AP items, then we can equip them on Ari or Kindred. Initial tank items can go on Yasuo. And after reaching level 5, we can add Lux, activating the Arcanist synergy. We can play Rek'Sai instead of Darius to activate the Dryad trait. Suppose if we get a Thresh at level 5, then our board can change like this, and Thresh becomes the tank item holder. Just like that, if we also get an Aphelios, we can pair it up with Caitlyn for sniper trait along with Shin activating both ghostly and behemoth traits. If we get AD items at that time, then Caitlyn can be the item holder. When we move to level 6 either a Leoi or a Mumu comes into play. Let's say I pick a Mumu here. Then at level 7, we add Ari and Syndra. At that time, Ash will replace Caitlyn, and we don't need Shin anymore. So this will be our level 7 board, where we roll down for Aphelios. Thresh and Aphelios have to be paired, and our focus has to be on maxing out both of them. After that, we can add Set instead of Yasuo along with Udur if available. As it is a reroll based comp, we can only stay at level 8, and in case we manage to reach level 9, then we can add Wei. So coming to the itemization part, initially, focus on getting a Rage Blade along with Infinity Edge for Aphelios. The third item can be Last Whisper or Giant Slayer or even a Death Blade. For Thresh, we can give tank items like Gargoyle Stoneplate, Sunfire Cape, Redemption, or Warmog's Armor. The secondary item holder can be Syndra with items such as Nasher's Tooth, Spear of Shojin, Jeweled Gauntlet, or Rabadon's Death Cap. Excessive tank items go on a Mumu if we also max it out. In case if we get an emblem, we can equip it on a Mumu, and once we reach level 9, we can play one more faded unit such as Yasuo or Kindred. Next, let's look at the augment preference for this AD-based faded comp. Best friends, faded crown or crest, sniper crown or crest, big grab bag, trade sector, and prismatic ticket are all great choices. So this is what we have to play around the AD line of this comp. Now let's shift our focus to the strategies for AP carries. We have a couple of re-rolling strategies here. This board will start similarly to the previous one with Ari, Yasuo, Aphelios, Kindred, Thresh, and Aleoi. In this, our primary focus has to be on maxing out our Ari before picking our second augment. We can stack 30 gold and re-roll with excessive gold for Ari. Maxing out Ari is preferred only if no other goes for the same. Early on, we can have at least two items for Ari, such as Spear of Shojin and a Jeweled Gauntlet or any other AP items. Over the defense, we need an Ionic Spark must on Thresh as this comp will be focused on magic damage. So while rolling for Ari, our Yasuo can also max out. After maxing out, we can add Syndra, followed by Set, and finally Lysandra. Thus this will be our level 9 board with 7 faded complemented by 4 Arcanist and a couple of Warden Synergy. The third item for Ari can be Nasher's Tooth. The same items can go on Syndra as well. That's where we have the flexibility. For defense, we can equip items on Thresh as usual. Items can be Redemption, Protector's Vow, Sunfire Cape, or Dragon's Claw. Those items can also be given to Set if it becomes 2 stars. Excessive items can be given to Lysandra. Sandra. Aleoi can also be our tank item holder. Any other AD come on the vamp based items such as Bloodthirster or Hand of Justice are also good choices for Set. If we get a faded emblem, it has to be given to Aleoi. Then we can add Odur instead of Yasuo. If we don't go for a Max Dari, then simply we can swap the items to either Syndra or Lee Sandra, making this more comfortable. Over the augmentation, Faded Crest or Crown, along with Arcanist Crest or Crown, Unleashed Arcana, Magic Wand, Trade Sector, 
prismatic ticket, and any AP-based augments are preferred. Utilize proper positioning to counter enemy threats. Finally, looking at the drawback of this comp, in case we fail to complete our itemization, it's hard to get the top position. Currently, these comps are being listed in the meta. Compared to other comps, in Faded you can adjust your strategy on the fly while maintaining a strong core of champions. The Faded comp offers a thrilling and dynamic TFT experience. With its adaptability, power, and flexibility, it's a force to be reckoned with in set 11. So, what are you waiting for? Give Faded a try and dominate your next game. Let me know in the comments below what comps you'd like to see covered next, and until then, happy climbing! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this guide, be sure to leave a like and subscribe item swap for more TFT content.